What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video here on Mquan Reviews with me Mquan and this in my hand is the brand new Amazon Kindle, the 2019 basic model. Now Amazon announced a range of new devices for their Kindle range and I've had about a week and a half to two weeks uh, testing out this device. I'm trying to get into new, you know, habits when it comes to productivity in terms of reading more. So let's start off by talking about the new design because some of you that might have the older Kindles might be wondering, is it worth upgrading to? Well, from a design perspective, this Kindle looks very similar to the previous generations. It looks like Amazon are sticking to a particular Kindle-esque design sort of language. However, in this model, we get no physical buttons to go from page to page. That's something that you do with the screen. They're still using the same plastic shell, which by the way, scuffs just as easily. So be aware of that. You are getting um, a updated screen. I'll talk about that in a moment. But before I do, those bezels, which is something that we don't see very many manufacturers sort of using or pushing in 2019, I've actually come to respect because those bezels are really helpful when you are using this for prolonged periods of time. Also, uh, down at the bottom, you're gonna get a micro USB sync charge port. Um, it's really odd that Amazon have included this because again, a lot of manufacturers are moving towards USB-C, but let's be honest, the Kindle battery lasts or seems to last forever. I haven't had to charge this once in the two week period. Let's talk now about what is really different because there are some major differences. To begin with, that screen on the front. Um, it's a six inch e-ink capacitive touchscreen. That means that you can touch it now, but the big deal, and I think the killer feature, which a lot of older Kindle users might worth consider, uh, particularly if you're thinking about upgrading, is now the backlight. This Kindle, or the basic model Kindle, will come with a backlight capability. That means finally, we can read our Kindles in low light without the lamp or without having to you know, shine it in some evening light. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I tend to read uh, later on in the day or, you know, early evening, late evening. So this feature has always bugged me about the Kindle and it's nice to see that in the basic model, this has been alleviated. As well as that, you're also going to get, um, you know, the tried and tested infamous platform that is the Kindle platform. Um, there is a ton of really good uh, books that are available. Uh, resources, audiobooks. Speaking about audiobooks, in fact, the new basic Kindle will actually support audiobooks. So that means you'll be able to listen to audiobooks, but that has to be done through a Bluetooth enabled uh, headset. Um, in terms of moving it around, the capacitive touchscreen works pretty well. It comes with 512 megabytes of RAM, which isn't very much. Um, and there is a slight lag when going from screen to screen, but that's something that if you've used a Kindle, you would have been familiar with already. Uh, also details in terms of, you know, uh, illustrative books and so on and so forth, they still lack. And I suppose it's understandable with the e-ink uh, technology. Um, they will lack that on this new Kindle. Um, but there's no getting away from the fact that even if you compare um, what is available on, let's say, the Apple Bookstore, the Amazon store as a whole will offer you much more in terms of resources. So my final thoughts are I think this is definitely a, a worthy upgrade if you've got one of the older ones. And if you're thinking about getting a designated ebook reader, then the Kindle basic is definitely worth considering. That's it from me for now. I'd love to know your thoughts and in the comment section below, let me know what was the last book that you read. I'm looking for some suggestions. Until next time, I'm M. Kwan and this has been the Amazon Kindle Basic. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace and blessings.